Remember your thesis days? How many research papers have you had to go through daily? Didn't you ever wish for an assistant to read and summarize all those papers for you? Well, Google has created just the tool for that, Notebook LM. Unlike Google Keep, this isn't just another note-taking app. While it's still in its experimental phase and may lack some advanced features of other apps, its generative AI makes it perfect for summarizing and analyzing complex information. So how can you make the most of it? And what drove Google to create such an innovative tool like this? Notebook LM is the kind of tool you wish you had when you were in university, as it would have made essay and paper writing far more efficient. The app's design feels familiar, similar to Google Keep, as it's loved for its simplicity and ease of use. Like Google Keep, Notebook LM is intuitive, easy to navigate, and highly practical. Although it has a simple interface, it's an incredibly powerful tool for organizing and synthesizing large amounts of information. Whether you're working with content from PDFs, Google Docs, or website text, Notebook LM helps you break down and understand it better. What makes it even more intriguing is its use of Google's generative AI now branded as Gemini. This AI processes the information you input and turns it into concise, relevant notes. This is where Notebook LM is different from Google Keep. You have got an instant idea, have to capture meeting minutes, or need a simple checklist for groceries. Simply take your smartphone and note them down on Google Keep. But Notebook LM lacks many of the features of more established notes apps like Google Keep. Their strength relies on analyzing the resources you give and provide you the most important and needed information to help you best. And we must say the accuracy of their AI model is very good. Now, let's have a hands-on look at how to use this new tool. First, go to their website and click on Try Notebook LM. With just one click, you are all set to get started. Click on New Notebook and you will be landed at the main editing interface. The interface is pretty simple. On the left side of the screen, you have your resources, and on the right, you have your notes and chat space with AI. To add your resources, click on the plus icon in the top left corner. A pop-up will come from where you can add your resources. You can either drag and drop the files or add them by choosing from drives. The good thing is that adding files is not limited to PDF or doc files. You can add Google Doc links from your Google Drive, any markdown or audio file, website and YouTube video links, and simply copy and paste too. Once the resources are added, the analysis can begin. Hover over the notebook you created, and you'll see a checkbox. Click it, and a menu will appear with options like Help Me Understand, Critique, Suggest Related Ideas, and Create Outline. Clicking Help Me Understand provides an easy-to-read summary and explanation of the document. For a quick content strategy, click Create Outline to generate a precise plan. These are just the default suggestions. You can customize your experience further by entering specific questions or requests into the AI tool just below. The AI doesn't just offer generic answers. It can pull citations directly from your documents, so you know where its insights come from. When you upload class notes or research papers into Notebook LM, you can explore them in depth, point by point. You can even ask direct questions, and it will answer based solely on your materials. Unlike other AI tools that pull information from the internet, Notebook LM sticks to what you've uploaded. No matter if you're uploading ideas, links, or notes, the AI neatly arranges everything and acts as your digital library. Let's say you have a lot of research materials. Notebook LM can compile them into useful formats, such as a study guide or a project outline. The best part is that you can specify what you want. Need an email draft or script based on your notes? Just ask, and the AI formats it for you. It's a great tool for organizing your ideas and quickly converting them into ready-to-use formats. Now let's take a look at what might be the most exciting aspect of Notebook LM. At the bottom right of the interface, you'll notice the Notebook Guide option. By clicking on it, you can access a variety of guides like FAQs, study guides, and briefing docs. Once selected, it opens a new notebook with responses based on your sources. 
But the real highlight isn't this. It's the audio overview located just beside those guides. Unlike standard AI voice generation tools that convert written text into an audio file, Notebook LM's Gemini AI does something far more impressive. It takes the resources you've uploaded, analyzes them deeply, and then produces a podcast. Not just any audio, but one with two hosts engaging in a conversation about your material. This isn't a simple text-to-speech translation. It's a dynamic interpretation, with Gemini providing its own insights and perspectives. You might be worried about how accurate this AI podcast can be, but Gemini's output is impressively on point. Just check this out. Welcome back to The Deep Dive. Today, uh, we're going to be looking at how prepared first-year college students are. But maybe that comfort leads to over-reliance on the most easily accessible information without questioning its validity or exploring alternative viewpoints. Yeah, it's almost as if they're conditioned to seek out the quickest answers rather than engage in the deeper exploration that true research. Now, instead of just reading your notes, you can listen to a custom podcast version of them while on the move. That's a leap forward in note-taking technology. In recent years, AI has continued to take on the SaaS industry rapidly. Everything we used to do manually is now being replaced with AI. So why not note-taking apps? Surely that's a smart move from Google. But why didn't they integrate this on Google Keep, knowing that it's one of the most used note-taking apps around the world? Because they are not making another simple note-taking app. You can't make a checklist or add images to your notebook LM notes. And even if you add a web address to a note, it won't turn into a clickable link. But like we said, it's a useful companion tool for a note app. You can always copy the text of a response that the AI generates on Notebook LM to your clipboard. Then, you can paste it into a note in Google Keep or another Notes app. In this way, Notebook LM works well as a companion tool. Google actually took this attempt to make research work easier, and they are close to being successful. The way they can combine a lot of resources and provide you just the important points you need within seconds. This is going to change the research world in a far better way. The Notebook LM is still in the development phase, so we don't have any mobile app versions until now. You can use it from the web, and it works well. The good thing is that more exciting features are expected to be added in the near future, so we might get regular note-taking features like Google Keep in a way we never imagined. Thanks for watching, like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this.